Adapting a sanding cabinet to reduce grinding dust. Part 2. Installing the exhaust system. William Hovey Smith, 2016. I'm the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China. And this is some of the new equipment we are adapting to make our interesting blades based on ancient Chinese patterns that will outperform any cooking knives made today. In order to make the exhaust on the cabinet work, we're bending a piece of pipe. And this is a piece of a tent awning that I had and took down and replaced. So we had some pipe left over from the awning and also a join that we're going to cut off that will give us two ports at the bottom to catch the fibers coming off from our handle grinding right at their point of release at the ends of the wheel. We're getting prepared to cut that piece of angle so that we'll have two vents to take the dust from the grinding stone. So Paul's going to do that with the cutting torch and then we'll cut the other longer piece that will actually feed out of the machine. Our bending went pretty good, except that the forming die has stuck to the pipe. So I'm going to use my hammer and see if we can free it with that. Okay, we've got the die free, and we've got the bend made. Not very pretty but good enough to conduct air. You've seen before how we've taken equipment and put it on, on and off the end of this workbench by having it on these plates so we can detach it and remove it as we need it. Uh, previously we moved the vise outside for example and now we put the grinder in the same position the vise was and reversed its direction so we can trim off the rough edges off this segment here. Well, that went fairly quickly. Now, what this is, this was two pieces of pipe, and this was rust bonded to this other piece, and I could not remove it other than cut it off. So that's the reason we use this particular section uh, for this exhaust. But we managed to cut it smooth here, and so that'll work just fine. Now, we have one more thing to do. We've also smoothed the edges on this exhaust pipe. This is the section that will actually receive the end of the vacuum cleaner, so I need to radius out these rough edges. And I'm going to use this grinder to do that. That gets out some of this gnarly stuff. Now that should give a much better fit to the inside. Now that all those ends are smoothed up, we can go ahead and connect the pieces here. We're down in. Now that's at a position of rest right there. That's that's pretty solid actually. We have our rough fit in our grinding box now and you can see how I have cut these two pieces of pipe here at an angle 
So they'll get the spray from the discharge wheel immediately and catch it on both ends almost as soon as it leaves the wheel. So that should be very effective in capturing most of the dust. This seal can be made pretty tight uh, just with a piece of tape around it. I'm going to put a block here. I'm going to put uh, some styrofoam here which will further seal this hole and then we'll connect the exhaust with our vacuum cleaner. But that feels pretty good. Now the end of the hose now that we have radiused it allows this to slip in very tightly to a friction fit which is exactly what's desired. So the basic assembly there is complete once we anchor the bottom down. I don't happen to have any metal strapping tape so what I'm going to do is wedge the work right here and put in a single heavy bolt with some wraps of electrical tape on it to sort of dampen the sound that's a pretty long reach. But with this extension we can do it. Yeah. That's pretty solid to hell now. That's not going anywhere. No metal is in contact with metal. So that's about as vibration free as I think one can get. We now have our glass and frame back in and just have the rather tedious task of uh, reconnecting and tightening up these uh, tiny nuts and bolts that are holding the frame in. But it's accessed through this door and actually when I cut these slits then I'm able to reach in and get these over here. So it's not as bad as it really might appear. Now we're going to cut the two holes for our arm slits here. And so there those are. And I'm going to put a few screws right there and there in the wood just to help retain this canvas. I have blocked up our exhaust vent there just with a piece of rag for the moment. And I'm going to grind a bit of material that just generates a lot of dust. And so we will see how we do. Turn on the vacuum system. cabinet now adapted to a grinding station has been a relative complete success. Now the exhaust system did not capture all of the particulates from the grinder. Uh, probably something better than 60% however. The entire assembly did keep much dust and other particulates just generally floating around in the shop for us to ingest it did give us a comfortable place to work sitting rather than standing and the entire assembly was relatively noise and vibration free by the time we mounted it on rubber and mobile when we put it on the dollies. In total, yeah, I would count this as a success. For now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Here is a photo of our banner with some of our knives and many more of our knives mounted on pegboard and we even have additional designs by Jan these and more coming every day. I'm also the author of a series of outdoor books.
Uh, these include backyard deer hunting, extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing. And all of these books have chapters about knives. Leaving the pipe length as it is, I'm going to open more of those pipes towards the join to allow a larger opening for air, and this will effectively exhaust more particulate dust. For more information on Hovey's Knives of China, you can go to the blog below. For information about my books, blogs, and more than 550 videos, you can go to www.hoveysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.